This is the Zen House Podcast. This is episode 28. Dang, we moving. We moving. We're Two moving. eight. That's that's dang. Who who used to wear those numbers back then? 28. Running back numbers was it. Yeah. A- AP is what I'm Curtis thinking. Curtis Martin. Martin. Curtis Martin a- pro, but AP is, is that dude the 28. Well, yeah. it's your boy A hey, Joe. This dude cut me off. It's your boy Des Hines, the one and only. You already did it. I didn't say my name. Oh. Clown. <laughs> it's your boy, hey, Joe. <laughs> and your boy, Ross B. Yeah, a little light skin. He's getting, but he's getting, he's better. A little better, right? Better. A little light skin. It's your boy, Ross B. Whoa. Oh, that has some S's on wow. it. Wow. Hey, hey, B. hey, you judging. Huh? Hey. He pointing them out. Pointing them out. Don't make those guys. Don't get us canceled, y'all. Don't get us, don't get us in trouble. Yeah, you you're about to be canceled. That was towards Ross, no one else. <laughs> For clarification. <laughs> Nobody oh, else. Oh, no trouble. No fuck around over here. So today, today's topic is pretty much leadership. Mm. And I think first and foremost, we need to uh, just put our definition of leadership and what it means to us. Um, and how we started as leaders and from back in the day to now. Mm-hmm. Who, wants to, who wants to get going? Yeah, AJ. Um, definition of a leader will be someone that someone that doesn't need to be told over and over to do something, but can also motivate and push others Around. in the right direction. Um, <clears throat> someone, you know, I use an example. Someone like uh, a sheepdog, for example. They're basically the farmer is the leader, true leader. But when it comes to the sh- leading the sheep, they're the leader. They yeah. they have to, you know, bark get at the fucking sheep order. and get them in order. That's kind of what it is. Not saying that people are sheep, but essentially it's just creating order. Essentially, getting and achieving um, the goal. So everyone's on the same page. So for me, in high school, college, you know, the pros, it was. Being told what to do, getting it done, and making sure everyone else is on the same page at the end of the day. But I know we spoke about this a few episodes ago in regards to knowing how to be a leader, like not talking to everybody the same, yeah. not you know yelling at everyone, or not being, you know, pulling someone aside. Not everybody responds that way. So learning how to be a leader in that aspect is very important. I feel like I've done a good job with that over the years. Mm-hmm. What's your earliest memory of leadership and? Um, I I think mine came from like, just kind of seeing my dad take initiative, you know what I'm saying? Like, and leading our family, Mm. right? So like when I was younger, I I didn't necessarily see them as often for a long time. I was like the only kid, Mm. right? Like I was like the only kid and behind the scenes, right? Homie was working like two, three jobs. And he got his paper up, right? Like he worked his butt off Mm -hmm. and he got all my family members to the United States. So like to me, you know what I mean? Like we didn't have those conversations all the time. So I didn't really know, you know, like why is this dude working two jobs? And you know, like, but he worked in silence and Mm -hmm. like in the back end, you know, I was able to have the time with my family mm-hmm. because he put in the work, right? So for me, like, I'm a silent leader. You know what I mean? Like, I know that I have to take initiative um, and I just get it done. You see what I'm saying? Like, nobody needs to be like, Ross, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Obviously, like when we were on teams mm-hmm. and stuff, right? They, they always had their structure, so I followed that. But I was never the person who was gonna yell at anybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, I'm gonna tell you one or two times, listen, this is what we gotta do. If you don't want to do it, that's it. <laughs> yo, somebody else. Keep them in them. You see what I'm saying? Bro, chill out, yo. Chill out. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> my hands is washed. Yo, my hands is washed. For, for those of you who don't know, yo, keep them in them. Is, I, yo, it is what it is. That's I can't it. help you. That's it. You, you know what I'm saying? What you got? Nah, uh, I think mom and dad pretty much showed me the blueprint. Mm-hmm. Pops would get up. First and foremost, on the weekends, there was no sleeping in. There's work to be done. The, the lawn got to be cut. The, the stuff around the house you got to get d- going with. Mm-hmm. So I just knew it was coming. So it's either you fight it or you get up and you try to get it done. Mm-hmm. And he, he, you know, Pop's got a lot of sayings. One of his main sayings that I hear in my head is, don't be a follower, be a leader. 
And at a certain age, you 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 don't even think that deep. You're like, right. don't be a follow, be a leader. Like, right. what are we playing? What we what 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 game is he talking about? <laughs> right, like, right. But he always said, sense. make your own decisions and be a leader. And there's different types of leaders. Of leaders, mm-hmm. absolutely. I was definitely the type of leader that showed you what to do. I would work hard, and we're talking about football. Mm-hmm. Work hard, go into practice, f- full effort. Lead by example. Lead by example. I'm not a rah rah yelling yeah, dude because boy. I don't do that's, nothing for me. Not, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hear you yelling. I don't get. If you do it to me, I'm not gonna get hyped up like. Oh, man, let's go. Slap me. Yeah, man. Nah. No, that's different. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> Yo. Right. You know what gets me turned up on the field? I see Alex take this dude head off. Mm-hmm. I see Ross take this dude head off. Guess what I got to do now? Oh, yeah, everybody getting it. hits? Yeah, I, it's my time. I got to get this. You that's, know? How, that's contagious. You know, so that, like, when we played Bridgeport Central and I look over and I see Alex Hyped up, yeah. right? But he didn't even hit the dude. Ross hit the dude. <laughs> but I was hyped. But he like, was hyped. I was, so that just is just that yeah, spread. It's contagious, like you said. That I think that's that's the style that we pretty much incorporated in our life. But I feel like one I, I've spoke to an athlete about this not too long ago. They didn't become a captain. So for them, they're like, I'm not a leader. Nobody gonna listen to me. That's no, not that's how it not, works. Yeah. yeah. Just because you're not labeled a captain. Doesn't mean like if you look at it now, you got, you know, this is going into a, you know, I'm being radical, Alex, but Uh-oh. you got, you know, no offense, but police officers who shouldn't be police officers, but they're authoritative, they're abusing it. You got politicians, it can go on, but at the same time, you don't need the label captain to be a leader, right? Right. So that's what I was telling them. I was like, it don't, it don't matter who is labeled captain. If your teammates respect you and they see that you're working your ass off, follow. they will follow you. And we've had athletes that feel like they can't say certain things they're because not captain, they're not right? captain. And we that's, have, we definitely that's, that's not, it doesn't I, work like that. Yeah, yeah. It when you when definitely at the D1 level, I mm-hmm. feel like there were dudes that got that status just because, you know, the coach felt like mm-hmm. They had to give it to them. Yep. But there was other dudes who, who spent the whole summer there. You know what I'm saying? They put in the time. They were never late. They yep. did this. They they went the extra mile. And teammates saw that. And yep. teammates saw that. And teammates respected that more, right? Like mm-hmm, they would come up to you for advice yep. as opposed to the captain, which is like. A coach might not pick a person for a captain because they're not vocal. That's they might say, yo. He's not vocal. He's not vocal, so he's not a captain. But at the same it's time, that's they have fine. a different style. That's, that's fine. perfectly fine. Don't that's change yourself. Don't yeah. yeah. Like, I, in high school, Blair Smart, remember the mm-hmm. linebacker? He he was a captain because one, he always set the tone. Mm-hmm. He was making plays on the field, and he was on your ass to not only get better, but for the team. But he expected that shit out of you, mm-hmm. right? Right? Because he was so doing it. We, you know, we all were people were scared of him. I wasn't fucking scared of him, but at the same time, like I was some people, dad. yeah, I'm scared, I'm scared of my, of him my for. St- 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 still scared of my dad. <laughs> shit, I almost stuttered saying that. My dad hates your hands. But anyways, um, <laughs> I got them shits now. Laney, you better watch out. <laughs> Noah, Kate. Um, but, you know, seeing people like that, it's like, like I'm trying to do that. I want to be like that. Yeah. But that's contagious because then someone like him, he was a defensive player, set the tone. He was hitting people, making plays. Mm-hmm. When he left, who else was going to do that shit? Right. Someone got to step up. Yeah, it was a different kind of leadership role. But people don't understand, like, you don't have to be a captain to be that type of person. To be a leader. Like, a coach can label you captain, fine, but you don't need to be labeled captain to be a leader. That's Mm -hmm. what people don't realize. That's the same thing in the work world. The same thing just being out and about. Like, you know, you can be out in the street doing something and you see something that someone needs help, go help them. That's Leadership quality right there. And to say, another thing is you don't need people to follow you to be a leader. Mm-mm. That's a true you're fact. You're living your life and you're cre- doing creative excellence. You're thinking of things before it needs to happen and you're doing it. You're a leader. Yep, you don't need it. people to be all up behind you. Um, so from younger, growing up, where, how has that uh, helped you being a leader now? What are, what are you guys' leadership qualities now with Zen House? Man, I think... Like we all have our own roles um, that we play in here. And without the three of us, well, without the four of us, like it just wouldn't flow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like now that we're in it, (laughs) 
You know what I'm saying? Like all the things that we used to think was just so easy is is it's really different. not. Yeah. Like you you have to be willing to um, share responsibilities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Like if you don't, you're gonna go crazy. You're gonna go crazy, and a lot of things are gonna be left undone. And I'm not the type of person like if I start something, Gotta I can't it have it. one foot in. And you know what pops call it, right? P foot. Mm. P foot. No You're po- not no P foot. Come on. We'll let you yeah. figure out what the P stands for. Oh, yeah, for. we ain't P foot. But like, it, it's like you have to be willing to share mm-hmm. responsibilities. You have to be on the same page. Yep. You know, sometimes you're gonna have some slip ups, but you have to have. Yeah, that's a part you know, of it. Yeah, like you have to be on the same page. You know, what and saying? that's a, that's the good thing about what we do here, in general, is that. If one of y'all slip up, the other one's going to pick up. And mm-hmm. it's, that's fine. We're like, going to tell you about yourself, too. That's it. That's how it's supposed to be. Yep. But people too worry about their fucking gonna... feelings. Well, okay. wow. he, he, felt he, felt he felt that one, boy. He felt that one. I felt <laughs> that because the, this is the world we in now. People are too much in their feelings. They don't want to. Their feelings hurt when they. Someone rather get sugar-coated told, oh, you are doing, doing great. Good job. But you just did a prerequisite. You're supposed to do that shit. Right, right. Why am I patting you in the back for something you're supposed to do? Sure. Right. It makes no sense. Now, if you, um, if you're training with us and you know in three months you got a run test, you're training here with us twice a week, right? If you going home and you going right to a video game, going to social media and you chilling, you're setting yourself up for failure because this ain't it. It's not only this, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you are doing this on weekends, you playing in your tournament, Sunday, you're like, I'm going to stretch. I'm going to get two of my friends and we're going to shoot and run. Without mom and dad telling Without you. Without mom. That is a leadership quality right there. Mm-hmm. You, you setting yourself up for success outside of the game. Yeah. Outside of the game. Or whatever you're playing. That's just in life because now you're going to do that. And for us, that's what we are. If, say if we didn't get together when we were in college on the off season or even in high school to run our own routes, watch yeah. film. Yeah, it would have never been here. It would have never been We here. wouldn't have been here because we would have been scared, intimidated, like, Making uh, up somebody else. Excuses. Oh, somebody else could do that. Oh, no, nah, people are going to laugh at us because we're going to start Zen House. Nah, mm-hmm. that's why we don't. First off, we don't give a fuck about anyone else's opinion when it comes I, to. I don't care. Y'all. When it comes to doing things. Yeah. But that's what done. most people don't want to do because they're they're scared that someone else is going to think. Think or talk about them. And I right. think what you want. But I know right now the core, is we don't give a fuck about nobody else. Yeah, that's what's keeping us. United, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And we have our qualities. And like I said, when it comes to custodial duty, yeah, you're janitor, janitor Dez. Dez. But at the same time, Ross, Janitor Ross, Janitor Alex, at the same time. We all janitor Social media Dez, Dez, social media Ross. It's, it's all this. It's not working unless it's, it's all together. We all got to do it. So yeah. at the same time, one person could set the tone with it, but then we all got to fucking figure it out and get it done too. But yeah. people don't get that. And, and I think with like the addition of Pete, like, you know, mm-hmm. he's taking on a role. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then with the addition of um, with Sky, like she's taking on a role. You know what I'm saying? And it just like it makes things easier mm-hmm. for all of us. Yeah. You know, because now we're starting to figure out each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like we can it, do more. Yeah, yeah. I might be walking by and thinking they might be walking by and think, dang, it looked crazy in there. But it's actually really structured. It's controlled. You know what I'm controlled saying? Chaos. It's controlled chaos. Controlled chaos. That's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? So, so real quick, explain your duties at Zen House. You you do the same. I'll do mine. Uh, I would say like I'm more of like the behind the scenes. Besides like being a trainer, um, I'm doing like a lot of like, you know, taking care of the payroll stuff. It well, I'm an extension of that. Okay. That's not like just me. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but I would say it's myself and Rich. And then, like, there's a lot of things that I do as far as, like, the business side of um, mind, body, and scheduling and having to take all the things that I'm learning from that and then passing it on to you guys. Merch. Um, merch. He for, he, I, I can tell he getting ready to forget. It's, it's, it's he, he almost didn't say merch. Yo, we got, there's more. By the way, we got a lot of merch coming okay. out, too. Oh, that's another. Yo, that's, we'll so save another, that. We're, we're going to save, save that for another time. We're gonna oh, save oh, we're we going to save the announcement for the end. Yeah, we're going to save we're going to save that for we the end. Tell, but, tell everybody at the end of this. Um, we've been we've been working super hard, like, you know, and and I kind of um, create the ideas and then I pass it to you guys. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always good to have you know, like ideas bouncing off, you know, like 
you know, Des might have something, Alex mm-hmm. might have something, Sky might have something, Pete might have something, Rich might have something. Well, Rich is shaky. But <laughs> <laughs> Coquito! Yeah. Coquito! You know what I'm saying? But like, it's, it's yo, I do that. And then, um, you know, obviously everything in here, like we always plant cleaning, guy too. Plant the guy. plant guy. Ross like get in greenery. Touch, you know, get in touch with your chakra, you know what I'm saying? Make sure everything is copacetic. Mm. Um, but like, you know, when we were first opening up, like the lockers and getting this ordered and getting mm-hmm. that ordered, it's, and even now, you know what I mean? Like staying on top of like the small things, right? Parts. Like soap and towel, like a lot of people don't understand what it takes, like cleaning the recovery room, mm-hmm. you know, like it's, it's a lot during the day. Um, people don't even realize it, but someone's got to do it. So that, that's do what it. it comes up with leadership. That's what comes with you it. Can't, you can't just sit there and wait. What, um, for what's me, your, what's some of your roles? I'm Bob the Builder in this bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> for the people that don't know what the hell you're talking about, I build a lot of shit. Um, I put shit together. I'm the handyman. I'm I'm Gadget Inspector Gadget Al. Well, I first got all off, the let's tell the people that you and I built them planters outside. Yeah, we, we Ross and plants. I built all the planters outside by ourselves. There's, there's, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Shell. Hold on, Chilling, I'm going to stop you. <laughs> I'm going to stop you. Come on, some y'all ain't tell me, shit. I'm designed, you ain't my daddy. Right, Technically, that's I raised exactly you, what he said, too. I'm going to stop you right there. Let's spend time talking about yourself and not putting down others. Okay, okay. Dang. positive affirmation. Okay. Like, he's, he's okay. fucking you. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you know what? No, that wasn't Gandhi. Who who was the dude that was doing something with that little kid? Oh no! Nah. Oh, that wasn't yeah, that Gandhi. Was no, that was Gandhi. That, that's not Gandhi. That's, okay, um, don't, I was about to say, don't compare us. What is it called? What's he's a he's a a monk. He's, he's a, a monk. monk. Yeah, don't compare me to nobody. Nah, all right, my bad. That's next. We're gonna that's we ain't another talk about that shit. That's another creepy shit in this world. But hold on. But Bob the Builder, build mm-hmm. shit here. Um, kind of do some social media stuff, but mainly as Des. Um. Uh, you did some marketing pieces. We were able to do some marketing. We work with Harbor Point, setting stuff up with our events. Harbor we Point, do that, event planning. Um, sauna. Sauna, cold, tub. cold tubs, you know, meeting with contractors. Garbage disposal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, garbage disposal. The heating. This dude don't know what he does. See, I know yeah. what everyone does. These yeah. dudes don't even know what they're doing themselves. It's a lot. There's a, it's lot, a lot of stuff going, going on at the you end of the day. Think. So there's no thinking, boy. I got three kids. What the fuck I'm supposed it. to think about? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Do want nah, me to it's, think. It's it's, a lot. I just do it. That's what comes with real leadership. You just do the shit. You it's don't just got to get it. done. It just got to get done. So someone's got to do it. Like, you just never, like, if shit, something broke, it bothers me when shit is broken. So for me, I want to fix it. Yeah. So that's why I've always been, I try to get the tools and whatever tools I got, bring it in, get it done, fix it. But um, I, like I said, we just, we just got too much shit that we all do. So it's not one person. Um, Doing we just start like something. And if we need help, one of us step in. But step in, yeah. um, that's the good thing. Like if we see something that needs to get done, it's not like, yo, Dez, you got to do this. It's, nah, it's Dez sees it. If you can't do it, you'd be like one of us. Yo, y'all can help me with this. I, I, and it's that simple. Oh, no, you talk. Dez, you can't use power tools. So what the fuck are you talking about? Dude, he's really upset. <laughs> yeah, he just Why got he really upset. upset. <laughs> Why is he upset? He really Dude got can't really use upset. no power tools talking about. I'm not handy. It. I know. But what talk I can do. Role. You could, I know what you can do is cut some grass. That boy could cut some grass, nah, boy. Hold on, hold on. She was outside. Outside, outside but, of Zen House? Yeah. When it comes to lawn care, I'm the guy. I grew up I'll give cutting you that. that lawn. I'll give you that, yeah. yeah tell, so, tell them the, your, your business name for yeah. cutting lawns. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm that guy. I'm that guy. I thought you were about to give like, nah. rights and all of that. Yo. I don't cut lawns, but I'm really good at it. And that's something that I, I judge you. If I go to your house and your lawn is not looking Up good, I'm, mm. I'm going to judge you. But uh, you know, they call me Des Media. You know, I do a lot of media. I do some, some, uh, you know, videos and stuff like that. You know, you know, I put some good content, some funny content. I'm the, also the comedian of Zen House. I'm the funniest person here, hands Des. down. Okay. What makes you that funny? Say I'll a joke. The, Say, tell the, us a joke right now. I'll let the people decide. Tell us a joke right now. I don't have a joke for you right now, but I'll let the people decide. Okay. Also, I'm D, I'm the DJ. 
Whenever people come in here, you're not always the DJ. I'm the, no, no. Listen, this is how you know I'm DJ Dead. Okay. People come in here, right? If there's a song that's off, I I don't have to put it on. Someone else can put it on. They'll be like, Des, what's up with the music? I'm like, I didn't put the, I didn't put it on. <laughs> that's why true. are you picking? Why true. are you calling me out? That is true. DJ Des. All right. Let's not. I don't have to mention I'm the best trainer here. Okay. Oh my gosh. I just puked. In my mouth. I'm the like, best trainer here. No, you're not. We're gonna do a we're poll. Not gonna, we're not we're gonna, gonna do a poll. We're not gonna rewind. <laughs> we're gonna do a poll. I'm gonna we're gonna have the people vote. All right, let the All people right, vote. Gonna I'm gonna say, tell you right now. I don't give a fuck about a poll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a poll. Alex, don't, don't give fuck. a fuck, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> That's another role. He Get cursed, shit done. He, he cursed a lot during this yeah, episode. Bad, he he get a lot of uh, I'm running on two uh, average anger. two and a half hours of sleep, so fuck all y'all. Wow. Um, <laughs> what else do I do, yo? I uh, helped y'all help. I know what you did do the other day. You helped me mop. I, I, you got I it helped. on video. I like, I like you ain't, clean. You ain't say gender to Des again. You I said, nah, gender to, I, I'm here, yo. I, I get the towels. Um, I, I'm in charge of getting the towels picked up and dropped off. Um, I like clean. Like, if I come in and the turf has stuff on it. He stop his full right? workout. I'll stop my workout. I'll vacuum this whole thing. But if I'm training someone, I'm looking at the, the dust or whatever, the leaf or something. I'm looking at it. I'm like, I got to pick that up. Yeah, or the right. cobwebs, if it's somewhere, I remember where it's at. Yeah. I got to get that. Oh, you turn next day is too with yeah. the bugs. Oh, yeah. Be wipe- I'm spraying wipe- up. That, well, I, I don't like this. I get goosebumps and yeah, shit. Just thinking about, about it. it. I don't like itching. the gnats that be from mm-hmm. somehow. I don't know what the fuck they be like, but. <laughs> they shit. like they like Zen House. Or they like fucking these get that spray out. And I'm not playing out here. Get that shit out of here. Yeah. We be wiping. But yeah, with with all the stuff that I can do, there's things that Alex does better. There's things that Ross does better, and there's things that I do better than them. There's a lot of stuff I do better than them. But, but the, just <laughs> just so you understand, <laughs> I think we all complement each other, including Rich as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Rich is that home base that you know he has a. He, he has of a great idea a of everything. Of yep. And we learned a lot from Rich. Um, but it makes it makes doing something like this a lot easier than us just doing stuff on our own. Yeah, if you do it on your own, we, that should have been It would have never story. happened. It, mm-hmm. it wouldn't just, be like that. No, nah, I think it would have been happened. The, the journey would have been different. Or, it yeah, it might have been a different product. Product, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah Men- might, mentally, we were focused. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And I know for sure we, we were going to do it no matter what. Yep. But, At the um, end of the day, Different leadership qualities, but at the same time, it's all collective. So being able to take what we learned individually, do it collectively, that's how you grow at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to take anything out of this episode, don't be afraid to fucking step up and do your shit. And don't be afraid to fucking not be deemed a captain. It's all right. As long as you can, you know, push other people to be better. On top of yourself, that's take the leadership care, quality. Take care of the little things, man. Simple things. That's like the most important th- uh, part, I think. You know what I'm saying? Because if you could learn to do the simple stuff and appreciate it, the big stuff is going to be easy. You know what I'm saying? That's another episode we need to probably talk about in regards to doing shit, working for it on your own so you mm-hmm. can appreciate it better. Because yeah. if it's given to you, you're not going to appreciate it. You're not going to appreciate it how you need Never. to. Never. Um, before we get out of here, we got an announcement. Yeah, for the people. Oh, let's get it. Let, let the people know. So, I mean, as you can see, Des got the full Lulu on. You know, um, we've officially, like, solidified the partnership, and we're an authorized retailer with Lululemon. Lululemon. You know what we I'm here. saying? So, we're going to be... We're going to be... Uh, ready. The gear's gonna coming. Be, gear yeah, is gear's coming. coming. You gear is I mean? here. It's just yeah. be adding to it. Yeah. yeah. We, so. we got to... It's loading, though. It's loading you know, it's gonna you be a, lot, stuff, a lot of the things that they've been asking for... It's coming. Like, we got... Drew said he's gonna take that off your back. Drew gonna have to come see me and take it off. <laughs> yeah, he said he was but, boxing. Hey. Yeah, we gonna we gonna drop off, you know, like all the all the official stuff. Like mm-hmm. if if people, if everybody got like some advice or some things that they feel like, you know, they wanna see. They wanna see in the Zen house colors yo, and gear. Reach let out, us know. reach out. You reach know what out. I'm saying? Like we are drop, drop something and Des is gonna respond, or one of us will respond. Yeah, so. I mean, Instagram, we'd be on Instagram. Yeah, we all on Instagram. All too. You're talking to one Emails. of us. Um, so, like, it's going to be official. It's it. official. This summer, get ready. This yeah, spring, it's going to be official. Well, we, we actually drop it once we 
we're once we get our stuff on there, that's when we yeah, it's yeah. gonna be dropped. So, so it'll give be, it give it like a week and a half. Yeah, and another gonna, week and a half, two weeks. Get ready to start purchasing. And we're gonna set it up where you can order from wherever you are. Yeah, wherever you it. are, and we'll get it to you. So official tissue online store. There's, there's no fucking around. There's no fucking around. Oh boy, I try to edit that out. There's, there's no fucking around. We here. That's it. That's why we did this. And on that note, we signing out. Radical.